All right, guys, welcome back to another Daisy tutorial. So a few weeks ago ish, um, I did two videos showing you how you can uh, create uh, custom textures um, for your clothing, and you know basically put it into a mod and upload it onto your server. Now I want to take that a little step further. Um, I want to show you how you can add um, a second or a third or a fourth or whatever um, different texture design. And I'm not actually going to go into all the GIMP and editing. I just want to show you the config, what you need to do in the config. Um, and I also want to show you how you can change the inventory size of the item, the actual item size itself, how you can add attachments. Uh, and there are some other things you can do, but I need to experiment, so I'm not going to do them. But them few things I just listed off, I'm going to show you how you do it. So anyway, first of all, um, make sure you know you open up your DayZ tools and you mount your P drive, and then you, you want to go into your P drive and you want to go into the folder that um, where all your config is, the, the, the folder that you edit all your your stuff. Anyway, so we're going to take um, we're going to take let's take tech jackets. Now I have already been messing around in here, and you'll see um, the stuff I've done. So this is how I know it works. Now, um, sorry. Bubble in my throat again. First of all, let me go back to my copy one because my copy one it hasn't quite got the updated stuff, and I want to show you something. Bef I want to show you something before I show you the updated stuff. Right, but basically, go into your folder, go into jackets. Let's go open up the config CPP. Now, I showed you. I basically left you off with something that looks like this. Um, so we just add the one type of jacket. Now, I've already gone ahead and created a, a new PA file and everything else, so I can just paste it back in here. But if you wanted to create a new, uh, a new like uh, texture, say you wanted to use this M65 jacket and you wanted to create a different camo, a different texture, I don't know, you wanted a different design on it, you basically follow the step of what you did in the first video I showed you, um, and I'll, yeah, yeah, all in the first video actually, and you'd copy from this class down to this sort of second bracket at the bottom, so don't include the bottom bracket, and then underneath that, you would paste in what you copied. Uh, for me, okay, I've already done it, so I'm just pasting in what I've already done. Now, you need to change a couple of things. So because you're using the same jacket, you don't need to change the color base. So this color base would stay the same. Um, the only thing you would need to change is the class here. So um, I, all I've done is just added stars to the jacket on this one, just for a test purpose. So I've just renamed it. So this is, like I said, the class name. So just put a different class name there. And like I said, all I've done is added underscore stars. Um, Display name and description name, you know, just add, you know, what it is there. Uh, this will stay the same because it's the same jacket. Uh, and, yeah, and all you've got to do is uh, choose the file path here and obviously include the, the PAA file that you saved the file as. After you've used it in GIMP or Photoshop um, and you've converted the file uh, using TextView to a PAA, you know, you need to link that there, like I showed you in the first video. And then you can just save it, um, pack the PBO with whatever, you know, add-on builder or PBO project, uh, use DSU tools to sign the keys, and then upload it, publish it to the workshop, and, you know, away you go, pretty much, you know. Of course, you just got to update the files client-side and on your server. Uh, and that's it. That's how you add a different jacket. Now, if I wanted to add a different class name, so if I wanted, let's find, um, uh, it's pretty much the same, just one thing's a little bit different, and I just want to show you that. If we go to, I can't remember what it was now, is it scripts? Yep, for world, entities, uh, item base, and we was working with jackets, wasn't we, like tops? So if we find Clavin, uh, let's just find, uh, we'll do this hiking jacket for example. So if we uh, rename 
control C. So say we're just working with a new color base, a new like class name sort of thing. Go in, find the, the color base that you want. Uh, just close that. You want close that and then go back to your, your config CPP and then all you need to do is if I just just so I don't lose that paste that there a minute so that's just in a new uh, a new file uh, what you would do is you would copy again let me just delete That again, so so you've just got the one. So you wanted to add a new um, item with a different color base. So just copying from this line down to this middle uh, bracket, you'd copy from this line. So where it says class M65 down to the middle line. Copy that, and then just as exactly like you did before, paste it underneath. Um, and then you need to change this color base to the new color base. So this was called this one. Uh, so you change that there. Like that. Uh, same for this part. Of course, go ahead and change the actual item name. You know, the name that you use to spawn it or use it at Trader, the class name. Of course, change the display and description name. And, you know, the... the path to the PAA but that's all you do and you know save it uh, up pack the PBO sign the keys and upload to workshop and away you go you've got a new thing now if I wanted to have say um, let's just get this back in say I, I had three say I had three jackets and uh, hold it there a minute Say I had three jackets, um, two of them was one class, so two of them was this M65 color base, there and there, but one of them was this hiking jacket color base. Anything within the same color base, uh, so you put together, and again, you don't, you only need this color base line once, so this would be at the top of your first color base, and then when you got the second one, You've just got it from the class name down. But if you start a new color base, you know, make sure you put this class uh, icon jacket color base or whatever the color base name is above your new actual uh, config for the jacket there or pants or whatever it is. If that makes sense. So I'm hoping you can sort of see how that's structured. You can see how I've got the two um, M65 jacket color bases together. And then a new one would be separate underneath. And then if I wanted to add another, say a fourth one, another icon jacket color base, I don't need to copy that. I would just copy that down to there and then paste it underneath and change the, the names that I need to change, if that makes sense. Anyway, so that's what you do to get more different sort of textures for each thing. Now, I'm not going to save that. Let's close that and not save it. Now what I want to show you is how to change the item size, the, the inventory space, and add uh, attachments. So, let me go into, um, back into this. And first off, yeah, actually we'll start with jackets. Open up the config again, so this will be not changed. Right, now to get this, so first of all, let me show you how to change the um, the uh, what's it called the, the cargo the inventory space. So if you go to your P drive, go to the DC folder, go to characters, and you can pretty much open up any one of these. But we'll just do backpacks. Find the config CPP file in this folder. Open that up, and what you want just scroll down, and you want to look for. Usually in like this sort of part, this should be, you go, I'll go, so what to say, this is the inventory space I'm showing you. You want to look for the item cargo size, this part, you would copy that, go back to your CPP. Now, I'm not going to save anything. Um, if I'm going to save anything, I would close the one 
uh, config cpp offline because I don't want to overwrite the wrong uh, config file. And then under where it says scope, you would paste in. Now you can see I've already done it on this jacket and I've got it there. And we've done it 10 by 15. So it means I've got 10 slots across, 15 slots are down, giving me an inventory size of 150 slots. Now I haven't done it on this jacket. Um, I guess what I could do is I'll copy it from here just to show you it works. So underneath that, and I'll tell you what, we'll make this one slightly different. We'll make this 10 by 10. So it's giving me 100 slots instead of 150. Right. Then, if I wanted to change the actual size of the weapon. Uh, not the weapon, the actual size of the piece of clothing. So when you pick it up and put it, say, into an, another inventory slot, it takes up a certain size. What you need to do is you need, where do I see it, this item size. And again, to find that, go back into, like, uh, your DC folder, characters. You can pretty much choose anything. Uh, uh, right, uh, yeah, you can pretty much choose anything that has a size. So, for example, you know, it's the same sort of uh, command you're using. Again, we'll just put backpacks, and we're pretty much already in the backpack file. But scroll down to find something that looks like item size and copy that go back to your config and you put it in now we've chose this to take up three by three um the this one with the stars we haven't actually chose nothing so again what we'll do uh, we'll just go to that paste it underneath um, and we'll make this one just so you can see it's working a little bit different i think by default this is four by four so i'll tell you what we'll do we'll do five by three so it's going to take up five slots across by three slots down um, um that's that now if you want to add an attachment you, what you need is basically this little command there and this is telling me to spawn a walkie talkie now i did this and i got the attachment slot but it wouldn't actually let me put the radio on um so what you need to do to actually get it so uh, like the walkie-talkie, so you can actually put the walkie-talkie onto the attachment slot and you can wear the jacket, because I was doing this and they wouldn't let me wear it at some point. What you need is inventory slot. Right, let me start again, sorry. Um, yeah, what you need is inventory slot body down to there. And again, to get this, is all I did, I'm in the backpack config file now, is you can just copy this. Now this is back because the backpack goes on your back, but with clothing, it's like on your body. So this where it says back, it needs to be like a body tag. And to basically find that, just to show you that, if we go into, uh, let's go into pants, for example, go into the config there, uh, scroll down a little bit mm, till we find one where it's got all that information. Um... Okay, these say legs. Maybe it's only ah, maybe if it's pants, it's legs. Let me show you an actual jacket because I think maybe body is just classing as your top half. Again, I've still I've only really just learnt this and playing with. So if we go into tops, go into config. Uh, there you go. We can find it. So the male torso. Um, so yeah, top half. So the inventory slot is body. Um, actually, let's find another one where it's got all the information. There, for example. No, that's, hang on, it's armbands. Scroll down a little bit more. So if we go into the tops category, scroll down by quite a bit. So we've got to the class, Udi, color base. So you copy the inventory slot, and you've got the body tag, um, down to that bit where I've got highlighted. Copy that. This item info thing, I tried this, I've copied exactly how it shows, but when I do that, when I add this item info part to it, it doesn't let me wear the jacket or the top. If I try to pop it onto my character, it won't go on. Um, so the way I did it is just copied the inventory slot, 
copy that if we go into my C, uh, my config file you can see I've got the inventory slot body and then you need the attachments so you'd find uh, this one hasn't got it I don't think uh, right okay you gotta find like a, um, a piece of clay that actually has attachment but Either way, if you go to actually, if we close that, if we go to uh, where's backpacks again? Go to backpacks because a few of the backpacks have the attachments. Um, go to like pretty much the top one here, the Tulum bag, and then you'd copy attachments down to there. Now I don't want the chem light on. You can keep the chem light. Um, and you can probably add any other attachments that you know normally you would see as an attachment. But copy that, go into your config file, and I just paste that underneath there. And you can see I removed the the chem light attachment and just kept the walkie-talkie. Uh, what I will do though is all this, uh, this, 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 everything I've highlighted, I'll put in the description box so you can just copy it from there anyway. Um, and that's it. Uh, okay, so for Okay, I won't add it on this one. I won't add the the attachment thing on this one. But you can see on my normal M65 jacket, I've got an attachment walkie-talkie. So I'll show you that works. But on this one with the stars, I haven't. All I've done is change the size, like the inventory space, the item size. But again, if I wanted to um, have that attachment on, I would just copy that that I've highlighted. And just paste it there underneath the item size. And it doesn't have to be in that specific order um it's just you know how i've showed you on each step right anyway once that's done let's go ahead and save but let's close that one because i don't want to actually overwrite the wrong one double check everything is correct there um so we're looking so i'll show you the walkie talkie on this first one uh but for the stuff i've just changed with the stars version, we're looking for a hundred slot inventory, as I've just changed it to, and an item size of five by three. So anyway, let's save that. Um, close out of that. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to just open up my PBA project. Uh, we're going to crunch the files. Now I haven't. It saves like you know your output and your source folder, so I don't need to do that every time. I've got no errors. Jobs completed. That's good. Um, I want to close that down then I want to go into my daisy tools which I don't know if you can see because I think this is on my other monitor let's just check oh no it's up here right go into daisy tools and again you can use add-on builder instead of pba project but I much rather pba project it is probably better uh, right go to DS tool, dsu tools because you need to sign the keys uh, move that to one side Open up your uh, mod folder, so go back to your P drive. And again, I've showed this in like, I think this is video two, all this stuff now. But go back to your uh, mod folder, not the one that you work from, the actual mod folder. Go to add-ons, copy all these PBOs, and drag them into DSU tools, and process files, and click yes. Now that's done, and you can see in this file, we've got all the buy signs. That's good. Let's close that down. Now, the last thing to do is to publish it on the workshop. And, and again, you only need to publish it on the workshop if you intend to use this like uh, for other people like publicly. I think if you're on a public server and people need this mod, you know, they're going to need it. Oh, sorry. Burping this morning. Uh, right. Anyway. Not a good thing, is it, to record videos? But, but I'm sorry, it's the only time I really get to do anything. All right, anyway, let's go to publish. Let's click on my mod. And we need to update the mod content. So we'll click on the mod folder itself. So, mod folder. Select, uh, select that. Um, you can put change out if you want. Um, added uh, inventory space. And change admin stars jacket. There we go. 
Oh, I haven't actually showed you. Two seconds. I, I won't actually do it now, but I will go in and show you what I did. I haven't showed you how to add the, um, you can add like a, like a belt system if you want to. Um, and I want to show you that, but I want to show you on my pants. Right, anyway, let's just agree to them terms and let's just update that. And we'll let that updo. Shouldn't take long. Right, close that at that minute. So I'll update all that now. Um, my client side, and um, obviously update on my server in a second. But before I do anything else, if we go back into my P drive, um, now I suppose you could do this on your jacket. But I don't think it kind of makes sense. You're kind of, you know, sort of being realistically, you want to do it on your pants. And I want to show you how to add a belt system. So if we go into this, go into my config, you can see on my admin pants, on the cargo pants, we've got attachment, belt back, belt right, belt left. So this is like a slot for your canteen, your knife sheath, and your, uh, what was the last one? Um, oh, uh, like um, a gun holster, like a pistol holster. Uh, and you can see I haven't got it on the Gorka pants here. And you can also see, look, because I've got Gorka pants, because I've got a new colour base pants, it's not using the cargo one, I've actually copied, I've put it underneath, but I've actually included this class line above. I haven't just copied it from, like, there, if that makes sense. But, yeah, what you need to do is just, like, under the scope value, is just copy this line and again I'll put all this in the description um, but as you know I guess you could do this on a jacket if you want to but probably wouldn't make sense but hey -oh. um, now I haven't added um, if you see I haven't added the inventory slot body uh, to this but it, it the pants seem to work without it I haven't kind of needed that I just added the attachment tag thing and it, it's worked. Um, but yeah, uh, if you do have issues, again, join my Discord and I'll help you there. Uh, um, apart from, and to basically, to see that, if we go, let me just close out of these so I don't overwrite nothing. Uh, to see that, again, go to DZ folder, go to characters, and it was just under belts, into your config CPP, and you can just get the top one here civilian belt there's i chose the military belt one i scrolled down a bit it's a military belt one but it's exactly the same attachment you just copy the attachments down to there and paste that in uh underneath um where it says like you know scope two uh right so and i'll um i'll show you i'll i'll I can't get my words out i'll show you the pants with the um the uh the belt system one Right, anyway, so I'm just going to quickly update uh, that mod my side and server side. I'll log into the server. Server. I will log into the server and show you it working. Alright guys, so logged into my server. And, right, so, let me just take them off there. So the first one, this one is my main admin jacket. And this has got the slot of the, the radio. Uh, let's actually pick. Not that one. One of them have actually got a radio. That, uh, that one's got it. Right, so if to test it, you can just spoil yourself a radio. Um, pop it on, and you can see the radio is now attached. Now, the only thing, and I'm not sure how to do it, is it doesn't show the radio anywhere. Um, you can see with this cam light, this is actually attached to the backpack. If we take it off the backpack, it disappears. Uh, but you can see how this backpack has got a chem light um, uh, attachment. And I guess we can do the same with the radio. If we put the radio onto the backpack, you can see it's got the attachment for it. Now, I've tried to do that with the jacket. But as you can see, if we attach the jacket, it doesn't show. Now, I think it's something to do with that item base. The thing I mentioned that if I added it, it wouldn't let me wear the jacket. I think it's something to do with that, but I think I was probably doing it wrong. But at least, you know, it doesn't show it, but at least the attachment works. You can 
actually add items to the attachments. Now, if we take the jacket that we just modded, that well, we just showed you, with the one with the stars, and I call it one with the stars uh, because you can see it's just a few stars just across the the waistline. Um, again, it was just a test, um, but you can see this has got a zero out of 100 slots. We've got 10 across, but 10 down. Uh, did they actually, yeah, 10 across for 10 down, so we've got 100 slots, um, and it takes up, if we actually take the item off, <coughs> if we grab it, and we just put it into our pants, say, it actually takes up 5 slots across, by 3 slots down, is which, uh, is what we set it to. Um, and the last thing I wanted to show you, which I, I briefly just showed you what you do in the config, but we've got my admin pants. And we've actually got the belt um, attachment. So we've got a canteen, we've got a pistol holster, and we've got a, a knife uh, sheath thing. Um, so I've actually got them items somewhere here. In that one. So I just went ahead and spawned them. So if we get the holster, you can attach that. And again, it doesn't show it. Um, I think it's something to do with the iron base, we, but we can put that there. I spawned two knife sheaths, we can use that level one, or we can use this normal one. You can put it there, and again, you can drag the canteen. And again, you can see it doesn't actually show it. Um, but I do want, want to try and figure that out. And as soon as I figure out how to actually get you to show it, uh, I will make an updated video on that. But yeah, there you go. That's how you, one, add more than uh, one type of um, clover. And again, if we actually... Uh, go to you can see I've got two type of pants in here um, so we've got your normal one which is the one I'm wearing and then we've got the admin pants with stars it's, okay I don't know why it's called star oh no it has got stars on it but if we just spawn that it, it has actually got stars on it. it's very hard to see but this is a gawker pants this is a different one but you can see it works you go you can see the stars a bit better there um, and I kind of put it on the bottom this it actually says LTS admin now I needed that up on the waistline I kind of put that in the wrong place but yeah um, so I showed you how to add attachments I had to change the, the inventory slot I had to change the size of the actual item itself meaning you know how much it takes inside of this and I showed you how to add more than one type of uh, clothing with different textures. What else is there? I think that's it. Um, but yeah, if there's anything else, like I said, I want to try and figure out how to actually get the attachment showing. Like you can see on the backpack, it does have the attachments. Let's put the radio there as well. You can see they're both there on the straps of the belt. So I'll figure that out and I'll make an updated video. But yeah, you can see, apart from that, without dragging this on anymore, uh, the attachments work and everything, you just don't actually see them. But anyway, join Discord if you need any help. Um, like I said in previous videos, uh, if you respond on YouTube and say it doesn't work or whatever, I'm probably not going to respond to you. Um, so don't think I'm ignoring you or not seeing your message. Every time I do, no one replies back. So if you do need help, join Discord and that's where you'll receive the help. Anyway, until next time guys, have fun and uh, peace out.